Hello, hello, hello. Cheers, Kevin here, and I'm here to talk to you today about the United States presidential election, which appears to be over. That's pretty crazy. Um, I'm recording this uh, pretty much as early as I can, having uh, just watched um, presumptive nominee uh, Donald Trump's uh, acceptance speech which is pretty crazy. Um, it appears that uh, Donald Trump has won the nomination, and uh, I'm making a video now to kind of talk to you about my thoughts on that. Um, I want to I wanna, wanna talk about two things, really. Um, I got a message uh, from a good friend of mine, uh, Matt Collins, um, or Mattophobia uh, on Twitter, who you should, you should, uh, you should uh, yeah, go ahead and follow if you have not already. Um, and this is actually forwarded along uh, from NerdCubed, which is a fantastic uh, YouTube channel gaming because Matophobia is the, is the community manager for that channel. Um, NerdCube is awesome. Anyway, um, it, it reads as follows. Hello, I'm trying to get a few YouTubers together to make a video saying that everyone is welcome on their channels, just trying to spread a glimmer of hope on this day of all days. Um, because I'm saying it might help uh, the few people that kind of need it tonight. Um, thanks. And uh, signed by Daniel of, you know, Dan from NerdCube. So that's that's the guy. So, now I find myself in the position of like, oh gosh, I, I got to make a video. And, um, oh gosh, I got to make a video. And it also looks like, wow, there is, uh, it now looks like the uh, conservative Republican Party um, controls both the executive, the legislative, and uh, by the fact of, of outstanding nominations, the judiciary branch of the United States. Now, depending on your own personal views, that may either be, super exciting news that you've been waiting for for a very long time. It may also be super terrifying news. Um, I would suspect, just based on my understanding of, of my viewers and kind of their general tendencies, I suspect it's probably more the latter, but I, I don't know. Like, I can't, I can't honestly know. Um, I'm going to be honest, personally, I think that the, the rhetoric that I've seen from Donald Trump has been very xenophobic, um, homophobic, sexist, and it bothers me personally. I just, I need to be honest about that from the outset because I don't want to excuse, I don't want to buy anything that I say, I don't want to ex sort of excuse that attitude. And so I need to say that from the outset. And it, it just, I can't, I can't accept it. But um, there's a, there's a, there's a quote that, I, of course, I, I, I should have looked up, but I, but I haven't um, from, one of Pendulette's books, and I believe it's God No, um, Signs You May Already Be an Atheist and Other Magical Tales, which is the subtitle of the of the book, um, although it could be in one of his later books. I'm not entirely positive, but um, it, it, it says something along the lines of um, love people, not ideas. Um, I will argue with you about any number of things, but when your house is on fire, I'll be there to help put it out. Um, this message that I got, um, from my friend, Matt, um, encourages us to say, Hey, you're welcome here, regardless of what your views are. Now, regardless of the fact that I'm honestly pretty upset, um, about political things, um, the, the message is one that I'm absolutely happy to endorse. Regardless of what your own political views are, I will, I would, I, and I, and I wish that I, that I, that it were <laughs> physically feasible to sit down with every individual person and say, Hey, I will either sit down and I, I want to talk with you until either you change your mind or we both agree on something or I change your mind, like, or you change my mind. You give me something new to think about, right? Like, I gotta, I gotta think about it. I gotta, I gotta disappear for a while. Um, whatever the case may be, I would love for that to be the case. It can't happen with every individual person. But I do want you to know that regardless of your political views, regardless of your religious views, regardless of anything, regardless of any salient attribute, um, when it comes down to the, the, the extent to which you are welcome here or not, um, you are a person, right? Um, whatever your beliefs happen to be, I will absolutely argue against particular beliefs, but I, I personally view this to be completely separate from your 
personage. I would love to sit down and have a discussion with you and try and understand why you feel the way that you feel, whether you disagree with me or whether you agree with me or whatever. But I never want to diminish you as a person. And I want you to know that regardless of the way that you feel, you are welcome on this channel. And I appreciate you for being here. Um, and that extends politically too. Um, I don't generally, I don't generally try and censor the comments. I allow people to just kind of have whatever discussions they have. Um, I believe it's important to allow kind of free expression, allow people to say, Hey, um, it's not important that I, uh, am a certain way that I was born a certain way. It's imp what's important is the way that I choose to express myself. Um, that's going to stand here. Um, if you are super excited about the election, I'm very, I'm very happy for you. Sincerely. Um, if, if this seems like everything that you've ever wanted, I, I'm, I'm thrilled about that. I'm thrilled that I'm, I'm thrilled about the things that you're excited about. I don't need to condone the policies that are being enacted to support you as a person. If you are disappointed or distraught over the results of this election, I am distraught for you. I'm miserable for you. I'm heartbroken. I don't need to agree with who you voted for or what you felt or anything like that to feel that way as well. Um, and I don't know. It's just, it's important for me that you know that, that your ability to be a person and express your own thoughts is far more important to me at least than any individual belief that you may hold. And I just want you to know that even, um, even though we have seemed to become a very toxic and, and polarized and sort of binary culture in, in a lot of ways that, um, even the choice to have an opinion is something I, 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 you know, I think is, is pretty, if, if, if there's anything that I can consider sacred, I think that's it. Um, that's that's all that I wanted to say. You are absolutely, um, you're absolutely welcome here, and I hope that you will take an opportunity to share your excitement um, or to <laughs> share your distress in the comments. Um, and that's it. I hope you're well, and uh, I will talk to you again soon. I think tomorrow. I'm looking at my schedule, right? Um, of course, if you have nothing, if you have no, if you're completely apathetic about U.S. politics, that's entirely fine too. By the way, feel however you want to feel. It's your, it's your life. No, there is no, there's no attribute to you that is more important than what you choose to want to be and how you choose to act. Those are the things that that matter personally to me, and that's that's all I have to say. So, please, please feel welcome here. And yeah, I will talk to you soon. Cheers.